Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. It's Otto here from Acquisition Partner. In this video, what I'm gonna show you today, guys, is how you can get your own agency clients for your AI automation agency through a very specific and unique Loom automation strategy that I've used in uh, my own business over the last five years. So first things first, just look at the screen here. What I'm gonna show you is basically a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how you can do it yourself. Uh, but I'm not only gonna show you how to do it, I'm actually gonna give you every single automation, zap, uh, and swipe file that you need just to do it yourself. Um, so if you are running an AI agency and you're looking for new clients and you don't necessarily have time to actually build this out all yourself, um, I'm gonna drop a link to a Google Drive file uh, folder below um, that you can just access all of these pre-built zaps, um, all of these automations, uh, all of these Google Sheets uh, without having to give me your email address or anything like that. So hopefully this helps guys and like I say, stick around to the end of the video um, and I'll share that link with you. Um, but first things first, what this uh, this little tutorial, and I'll just scroll through it here to show you the level of detail uh, I'm gonna go into in this video. Uh, but what this tutorial is going to do is basically help you uh, send out thousands and thousands of customized Loom videos to your prospective clients and, and target leads without having to record them manually and also without having to check in and see who's viewed your Looms, who hasn't, and then who you need to follow up with. So what we're doing with all of these uh, automations here is basically removing uh, all of the time that you're gonna have to spend recording looms and sending them out to your prospects, as well as all the time that you'd have to spend manually following up with them to book calls. So doing, doing uh, it this way, through the strategies I'm gonna show you, you're gonna be able to send, instead of you know 30 looms manually or whatever you've been doing per day, uh, you're gonna be able to send thousands of looms every single day. And we're gonna be able to automatically track every time your loom has actually been watched. So you're not gonna to have to manually uh, check in to see which leads have actually watched your looms and engaged with them and who hasn't. Um, and then we're gonna show you how you can uh, create a uh, automation sequence to follow up every single lead that actually has watched your loom video um, and convert them into a booked call. So first things first, you're gonna need uh, a couple of Google Sheets. Now, if you are downloading leads lists from um, you know, wherever you're downloading them, Apollo, B2B databases, social media, whatever it might be, you're gonna have um, a large raw data file um, as, a, as a CSV file. So that's the first Google Sheet you're gonna need. And then the second one that you're going to need is just a more simplified version here. So you're gonna have three titled columns, email, website, and Loom link. Obviously, these are the websites and email addresses of the contacts and leads that you are reaching out to. And then this is where your unique Loom link for each lead will be saved uh, through the automation that I'm going to run through now. Now, the way that we are going to run this automation is through a macro recorder. And there's a number of different macro recorders on there. I literally use the one that's called Macro Recorder. You can Google it. Um, I'll drop a link in this uh, Google document too so that you can access it. And what a macro recorder is going to do is basically record your physical movements on your uh, MacBook or your laptop. Um, and it's going to be able to replicate and duplicate those for thousands and thousands of records uh, over and over and over. So what that means is through recording a single macro, what you're gonna be able to do is once you click um, play on your macro, you're gonna basically record yourself clicking the, uh, the client's website, recording an evergreen loom for them, titling the loom, save, saving the loom link in here, adding it into your email service provider or Gmail, um, you know, uh, email, inbox, whatever it might be. Um, and then you're gonna basically click uh, stop on the macro and it's gonna record that movement. And what it's gonna do then is populate your spreadsheet here with a unique Loom link uh, for every single website that, um, that you're sending videos out to. Now I've got a couple of videos on my channel already about how to actually record those um, Loom evergreen videos. And the, the basic way that you do that is by clicking on the uh, prospects website I'm recording this YouTube video now uh, on Loom anyway, uh, so I'm not going to uh, uh, stop this and, and redo it. But what you're gonna do is basically open up your drawing tool and you're gonna do some generic scrolls through their website like this. And you're gonna hit them with your, uh, your evergreen script. And you're gonna say, hey, prospective client, I wanted to send you this quick um, video came across your website. There's a few things I noticed that I think we could help with. Me and my team, there's five of us. Uh, if you're going five years, add in whatever social proof you have, case studies, um, hit them with your offer and your value proposition and a CTA, um, and then just continue to build out and draw 
random evergreen symbols here. And the, uh, the other thing just to note as well when you're recording these looms is to set your bubble picture here in loom as a static image. So this is the one that I use and it gives a level of personalization in the, uh, in the, um, uh, uh, the thumbnail of the loom video that you're sending and it's going to make it relevant for your um, prospective clients when they actually open the emails with the link that you've put in there. So just jumping past this, because like I said, I've got some videos on here. Once you've run the macro recorder um, and you click repeat and play, what it's basically going to do is, is move the, the mouse on your screen. It's going to make keyboard strokes um, and it's going to do everything that you did when you recorded that first video. Now, there's a couple of things that you have to make sure that you do uh, in order to make all of this trackable. And the first one is... When you've recorded your Loom, and uh, Loom, open up, up, Loom opens up here in a separate tab, uh, what you want to do is uh, change the name of every single Loom video that you're recording to something generic, like for you and the first name of the lead or the prospect, uh, and then make sure that you put in their email address here. And the reason for that is that if you don't have the email here, um, it's not going to work through, your automation is not going to work through Zapier because through Zapier and one of the zaps that I'm uh, sharing with you down below here, we actually use email as a search function and one of the identification tools that Zapier is filtering for as we go on. Okay, so very quickly, two spreadsheets, download a macro recorder, title your Loom videos correctly and make sure in Loom that you have got it toggled for your uh, email notifications to be on. Okay, and that's going to set us up for the next step. Now, the next step, what you want to do is go into Slack. Um, hopefully you'll be using Slack for your agency, your AI agency, whatever you might be running. And uh, what you need to do is basically set up a, uh, a dedicated channel here. So we do it here on the left hand side. You're going to set up a dedicated channel. And uh, then what you want to do is extract the email address from that channel. So what that's going to do and what function that's going to be able to give you is that every time uh, you get an email through to this email address here, you're going to get uh, an updated message via Slack bot uh, into that dedicated Slack channel. Okay. Now preceding that, a step that's going to really determine the success of, uh, of that automation is a filter that you set up in Gmail. Okay, so the filter that you need to set up in Gmail, uh, you need to just go into your settings tab, add a filter. You need to include these words here, has been seen, and that's incredibly important, okay, because if you don't do that, then the Slack messages aren't going to land in the uh, dedicated channel. And the reason for that is that when Slack sends you an email that somebody has actually watched your Loom, the way they format that email is they say, they, they copy the title of your video and then they write, has been seen. Okay, so whatever you send, this is a video, has been seen, sent to you, James, this has been seen, uh, my thoughts, has been seen, okay? And uh, by setting up this filter so that every email you get into your uh, your inbox, it's, gonna, it's going to um, collar all of the emails that, that have this in the subject line. And then what you want to do here is just set up that those emails have been, uh, they've been read. You're going to apply a label here, watch looms, which is what we do just to make sure that we've got all of those leads in one consolidated place within Gmail. Um, and then you're going to forward it to that uh, email address that links to your Slack channel here. Okay. All right. So going to keep racing through here. Now, the next thing you want to do is in your main leads list, so in that big uh, raw data file, and we've got our own uh, leads list that we use within our agency. If you're interested in seeing that or using that for yourself, just send me a message, um, comment down below, and I can, I can share it with you. Um, what you're going to want to do is on the main page, on the main tab with all of your leads raw data, you're going to add a uh, tab for, uh, add a column for tags, and then you're going to add a tab for watched looms. Okay. And I'm not going to run through it here because, like I say, I've actually built out these Zapier automations, these individual zaps. And if you click the links here, you're going to um, actually be able to access those zaps themselves and use them directly in your business. OK, um, so it's going to save a lot of time on this video because we're almost at 10 minutes. Um, but literally, you can try this app, uh, duplicate it and use it directly for your business. You don't have to waste any time actually building it yourself. Okay, and the zaps that we're going to set up and that you're going to have access to, what they're basically going to do is every time a watched Loom, every time one of your Loom videos has been watched, you're not only going to get a notification in your Slack channel here so that you can keep a live account of it, it's going to add the specific email address into the Watch Looms tab into your spreadsheet. And I'll just go over into one of our demonstration ones here. So every time one of our Looms has been seen, 
we can see that the email address that we added into our Loom video title has been included in this column here in Excel. And what that's gonna do through one of the other zaps is basically add a tag here that says VSL watched. Now you can use whatever kind of uh, tag that you want to, but the reason we use VSL watched is because within our uh, CRM, we're using Go High Level, we've got a tag for uh, contacts who have watched each VSL. Okay, so I'll just jump over into that quickly. Now, every time uh, we get a contact through um, that has been tagged as uh, the VSL watched, um, we've got that in a separate uh, uh, high level automation, we send them through a, a series of follow-ups here. Okay, and this is where this strategy really comes to light. It's because you, not only are you able to send out thousands of customized Loom videos to your uh, prospective leads, um, there's no friction to doing that through the macro recorder. There's there's no further friction to following them up too. So you might not be following up your leads simply because you don't have time um, or it's too much of a job. You don't have staff or VAs to do it for you um, and you're procrastinating. And what that's doing is directly stopping you from actually getting new clients on board in your agency. So through an automation like this, through high level, integrating email, various different messages, um, playing on various different psychological triggers, SMS follow-ups uh, and the like. Um, what we are able to do here is automate all of the follow-ups to our um, prospective leads who have actually watched the Loom videos. They are warm leads, they, they are engaged, um, and then we hit them with a booking link automation there that they can book calls uh, into, uh, into our sales team with. So there we go, guys. I, try, I was trying to make that under 10 minutes, but we're about 12 minutes. Hopefully that helps. I'm going to drop a, a link below to this uh, Google document. So you've got everything in here that you need just to um, plug and play it into your business. You can literally use the apps, click go, and, and you're going to have it all live. Um, so let me know how you get on. Comment below. Hopefully this has been helpful. If I can help out in any way, just let me know and uh, we'll speak soon. All right. Cheers, guys. Bye.